Hi, sweeties. I got got by an Instagram ad. I saw this any day uh, microwave cooker advertised on Instagram, an ad featuring Chef David Chang. So it was an ad featuring Chef David Chang. You know him from like Ugly Delicious, the Momofuku restaurants. And he was advertising this any day pan, sorry, any day microwave cooking vessel. And he made uh, mashed potatoes in the microwave using this dish. No water added, nothing, just diced potatoes, you know, peeled, diced potatoes in the microwave for 12 minutes and mashed them right inside this bowl. And I was sold. I bought it like right away. Here's the lid. Oh. It is made of borosilicate glass, the bowl and the lid. I got the large shallow size. Got it out of the box. Let's get into it, but first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Now let's get into this any day microwave cooking vessel. Let's get this out of the plastic. Can you see that? Oh, look at that microwave oven to, uh, oh, oven safe to 400 degrees, dishwasher safe and freezer safe. The bowl is oven safe to 500 degrees and the lid is safe to 400 degrees. Designed for cooking in the microwave. Yes, even the lid. Oh, nice. And you'll see it does have this metal piece around the lid, but they said it's perfectly microwave safe. It's got a gasket, looks like silicon gasket, and the lid you can pull up to vent. You see that in there? Pull up to vent or push down. Quick start guide. All right. It's actually very pretty. Frosted borosilicate glass. And it tells you about, okay, put your microwave to work. And they have lots of recipes online too. Steam releasing knob, airtight seal. Designed for everyday use. Microwave safe, oven safe, eco-friendly and non-toxic, freezer safe, dishwasher safe, airtight and leak proof. Use and care. Don't use on the stovetop or in the broiler. Don't uh, microwave more than one any day dish at the same time. So it gives you all the warnings, the do's and don'ts. There we go. All right, I'm gonna wash this up and let's make some potatoes. I'm using three pretty large russet potatoes that I'm just going to give a little bit of a wash and peel them. And I'm using russet potatoes because I think they give you the nicest fluffy texture. You could also use a Yukon gold potato if you like. It's a waxier potato. Those are delicious and it's almost a naturally buttery taste. But for mashed potatoes, I'm gonna go with these russet potatoes. 
I'm gonna dice them into fairly large dice and then just fill up the dish. Now we're already ahead of the game because we don't have to put a big old pot of water on the stove to boil. We're just going to load these diced potatoes into the any day dish and pop them into the microwave. It will steam in its natural juices. Whatever natural liquid is in those potatoes is what's gonna be in this dish. And those three potatoes really filled this up to the top. So we'll pop the little vent part up there. Always use the vent open when you're cooking. And uh, we'll, cook. we'll start with 10 minutes and then we will check it. I'm going to get my half and half ready. You can use milk or cream, whichever you prefer. And then also some butter and we'll add some salt as well. And I'm just following the directions that were on the Any Day Dish website. And it was pretty straightforward. They've got lots of good recipes on there that I'm looking forward to trying. Now let me just find my potato masher. All right, we're almost there. Let's see if those are tender. It's at about 10 minutes. Take these out. You can see some condensation in there. Let's see. Swarm. So definitely use pot holders when you're taking it out of the oven. Oh, well, look at all the. Now that's just the the moisture that came out of these potatoes. Let's see if those are ready. Oh, probably could use a little bit more time, but you can see it's starting. I'm gonna put that back in. It's really too hot to pick up. Oh well. Look at that. That's hot. <laughs> Definitely hot. I'm gonna just cover it for another minute. Go back into the microwave for just another two minutes. Let's see if that, yeah, that's much better. Much better. Okay, right from the microwave. Make sure you put it on a surface that can take the heat because the bowl um, does get hot. The food gets hot and makes the bowl hot. So <laughs> you don't want to scorch your countertops because it does get pretty hot. And resist the temptation to bang this on the side of the um, any day microwave dish because you don't want to chip it. I mean made of borosilicate glass, which is tougher than your regular glass, can withstand temperature changes, but you don't wanna like bang metal utensils on it. Oops, I lost a little bit. Oh, lost a little bit more. Try to keep it all in the bowl, because this was pretty full. This was pretty full. Yeah, look at that. Let's try to make sure we don't have lumps. couple lumps are okay. <laughs> if you really want it smooth, 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 then putting it in a potato ricer. I have one somewhere, but I ain't seen it in a while. I can tell you where it is. But that's gonna give you the smoothest potatoes. But yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna use half and half. You can use milk or cream, so we'll split the difference. It says four tablespoons of butter. And then salt and pepper. And I don't particularly care for pepper in my mashed potatoes. I like salt. That's just about a teaspoon of salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon, really. But I don't care for pepper in my mashed potatoes. I just, I want it to be just kind of creamy and smooth. 
just a little bit of salt to enhance the potato flavor. And um, I think, well, we'll see when we taste it, but what David Chang was saying is that these taste better to him because there's no water to dilute that potato flavor. You know, all of this, this is cooking, all this potato just cooked in its natural juices, just steamed in the microwave. 12 minutes, 12 and a half minutes for this. And that's it. No extra water to put on the stove and boil so you don't have to take that time. Fill up, you know, a gallon of or whatever of water and wait for that to come to a boil. You don't need to do that. That's, that's that. Look at that. I probably could mash a little more, get a little smoother, but I'm tired of mashing. So let's taste it. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Mmm. That's really good. I might sprinkle a little chives on there or something, but um, we're done. Huh, that was easy. Well, that was hands down the easiest mashed potatoes I have ever made. All made in the any day dish. And I mean, could not be easier. Peel them, chop them, put them in the dish. No water, nothing. Don't have to bring water to a boil. Put that lid on top, the microwave safe lid. It's all glass, borosilicate glass. There's a little stainless steel ring, but it's all microwave safe. How do they do it? Well, it's all sciencey. I don't know, but it works. It works. <laughs> so uh, I think the next thing I'm going to make, they have a recipe for um, like a New Orleans style barbecue shrimp made in the microwave. Yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> I'll make that next um, in this any day pan, any day dish. And then if you have leftovers, put the lid back on. Push that down so it's all sealed. And you can put that, once it's cooled off, right into your refrigerator. And then when it's time to heat it up, you can heat it up right in the pan again. In It's not a pan, why do you keep going to the pan? The dish again. Cool. This dish is a winner for me. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.